Let's take a little closer. Now you see something. Now you see now. You done fucked up. You know that, don't you? I see what I'm saying. I, no, I, I thought... No, so, you know what I'm saying? Then you done I, fucked up. Now you know that, don't you? I, yeah. I, I know you done fucked up, don't you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, yep. Yeah, man. Fifty Cent, man. He he messed up, man. He messed up, man. Um. Yeah, man. Who came out? What's up, you two? What's up? Yeah. So I guess Chesley Hander on um her ex. You know, boyfriend. Uh, Fifty Cent support for Trump. I had to uh, remind him he was a black person. So Chelsea Han- Handler, I guess she's a comedian. I don't know what the hell she is. You know, I've heard of her and stuff like that, but you know, I don't follow any of her stuff, man. So anyway, you know, there's been a lot. I guess Fifty Cent's been getting some like backlash for like saying he's gonna vote for Trump after hearing those tax proposals and stuff like that. So yeah, Chelsea Handler uh, made a, a comment. About, uh, you know, um, I guess she was like, you know, uh, chastising 50 Cent by saying he was going to vote for Trump and stuff like that. So I guess he was on the Fallon show. I don't know this Jimmy Fallon or whatever this guy's show is. Um, so, yeah, Jimmy Fallon. You know, she, she was on the show. So she made a comment, man. So, you know, I, we can you know, I can go through it. And everything like that, but I got the audio queued up. All right, so let's let's play it. All right. Of of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets, and I go, wait, what's happening? Because you said he was your favorite ex-boyfriend, and then he, what does he do? He's supporting Trump? He says he doesn't want to pay sixty-two percent of taxes, which, by the way, is in a plan of Joe. I mean, who does? But issue. Biden's. That's 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 a lie. So he doesn't want to pay sixty-two percent of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being fifty cent to twenty cent. <laughs> and I and I had to remind him that he was a black person, so he can't vote for Donald Trump, and that he shouldn't be influencing an entire swath of people who may listen to him because he's worried about his own personal pocketbook. Mm-hmm. So I can't be independent. You know, can't be an independent black man, you know, with your own ideas or anything like that. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to let her finish, okay? So, let me... I haven't heard back from him yet, but I, I am willing to, you know, seal the deal in more ways than one if he changes his mind and publicly denounces Donald Trump. I might be willing to go for another spin, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, this lady even offered sex, pays taxes... To change his vote and everything, but yeah, man, that comment that she made, man, I, I, I don't think that was a good look, you know. And Fifty Cent, man, he came out and said, you know, F Trump, I never liked him, and stuff like that. I, I think it's a bad look, man. I think it's a bad look, especially you know, like a, the, I, I mean, you know, for black men, you know, he he gonna do what he want, you know what I'm saying. I don't think anybody's following him like that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, but just the 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 look, you know, what I'm saying? just just the perception. You got to think about black women. You get what I'm saying? You got to think about black women. What are your sisters gonna say? You know what I'm saying? What what are your sisters gonna think? You know what I'm saying? What are your sisters gonna think? So it wasn't uh uh anyone of color that that swayed you or anything like that. But you had this, you know, 40-something-year-old white woman, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me bring up a picture of of this lady, man. You had had this woman was able to sway you. I don't know what kind of relationship they had. You know, I guess they were together or something like that. But this, this, uh, (laughs) this woman (laughs) was able to... It was able to sway him to publicly denounce, you know, Trump, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, I don't even know if she sealed the deal or not, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if she so-called sealed the deal, but I guess he, uh, I guess, I guess he's, uh, maybe got a rain check, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the dude's got a rain check, 
But yeah, man, that looks that looks real bad. I mean, he's he, I mean, he's his own man. He can do what he want. You know what I'm saying? He's his own man. He going you know he can make his own decision and and stuff like that. We all know that. You know, it's a land of free. This is America. You know, you know, God bless him and everything like that. But man, to 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 go back and retract, I, I don't even think I, I don't think Ice Cube would have even gone that far. You know what I'm saying? Or even uh, you know, Kanye Kanye is you know married and stuff like that. But Kanye stuck to his guns, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why people admire Kanye West, and he's supposed to be the crazy one, you know, and. And for him to do that, but it's, I mean, no, 50 Cent, man, I mean, one dude said it on YouTube, you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be surprised if the dude flipped, you know what I'm saying, like in like a week or so, he was right, the dude was right, the dude was right, and I suspected so too, but we don't even know how he's going to vote, you get what I'm saying, so he might say one thing publicly and be doing something else behind, uh, in, in a voter booth, but Man, that, I I think I think he just I, I think he I, I don't think it's a good look, man. I, I don't think it's a good look for him to do that, um, especially after what Chelsea Handler said. You know, so I had to remind him that he's a black person. Same thing, uh, Joe Biden says like if you don't vote for me, you're not black. And then Fifty Cent gonna actually just do it. Oh man, that's not good, man. I I wonder what the sisters think about it, cause you gotta think about it. You got a lot of pro, like the pro black sisters, man. They, you know, they're really down with the brothers, you know, and you know, he, you know, supporting brothers, you know. They, I mean, I mean, what are they gonna say? I I gotta I gotta see what some of the sisters are saying about this, you know. I gotta see what black women are saying about this. The brothers. Yeah, you know, it really don't matter, you know what I'm saying? You know, each, every man is his own, you know what I'm saying? To each his own for the brothers, but, you know, the sisters, you know, that's what you need the support, you know. You need the support from the sisters. So, let's see, let's see. I want to show y'all this, man, but here's a, here's a message from Malcolm X, man. Let me show y'all this. Here's a message from Malcolm X, man, so y'all can see this. What does he say? Let's bring it up so y'all can see a little bit more. So I'm going to read this. He says, the white, li uh, the white liberal differs from the white conservative only in one way. The liberal is more deceitful than the conservative. Both want power, but the white liberal is the one who has perfected the art of posing as the Negro's friend and benefactor. Quote by Malcolm X, the great Malcolm X. So there you go. I mean, Malcolm X, he said it, man. You know, I mean, that's what the Democrats do. You know, they pose as your friend and think they own you and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Think they know what's best for you. And it's like, oh, well, I had to remind them, like, you're black, so you have to vote. A certain way, and I'm just telling you, man. That's what that's what we, that's what that's what we gotta break up. The fact that you know we just polarize a vote in one block. You get what I'm saying? And if you divvy up that vote, you know, if you divvy up the voter base or the black voter base, you know, or, the, or um, where it's like fifty fifty. Then each party is gonna want to do more for the community. You get what I'm saying? You get more power that way. You get what I'm saying? You gotta fight for those votes, man. You gotta listen to, you know, you gotta listen, listen to us a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? But they, they don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Democrats really don't have to listen to uh, black people because they know you, how you're gonna vote. But the whole argument is to um, either bail out or vote for somebody else or do a write in. You don't even necessarily have to vote Trump or, you know, de you know, Democrat or whatever like that. Hell, you can do write ins and everything like that, man. You can vote vote for someone else. But if it's not a lock, man, if you if they ain't got ninety percent, man, they you talk about like ninety eight percent, ninety ninety something, ninety eight percent of of you know, African Americans vote for you know Democrat or one or at least one political uh, one uh, political party. 
Well, I mean, without getting anything, you get what I'm saying? Without getting anything that specifically benefits black people, why should that political party like do anything for you guys? You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't make no sense. They don't have to fight for your vote. That's the whole point. They got to fight for it or do something or, you know, promises made have to be promises kept. So that's the whole point of leaving that Democratic Party, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't, that's what I, I think that's what Ice Cube was trying to drive home. You know, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You got to force each political party to fight for your vote. Whether it be the Green Party, Democratic Party, uh, Republican Party, or some Libertarian Party, or um, hell, it's pretty soon it's going to be a Socialist Party, probably soon. But hell, you, you, you might as well sum up the Democratic Party as a Socialist Party, whichever party. You know, they got to fight for your vote. So, anyway, yeah, man, I just think it was a bad look, man. I just think it was a bad look. But, you know, he's his own man, you know. Um, we, we don't know what his re- relationship w- was like with, uh, you know, uh, Chelsea Handler. You know what I'm saying? And then you, you can think of it. Maybe it's not even a, a race thing or a political thing. Maybe it's just a friend reaching out saying, hey, don't forget, you're black. It still doesn't even sound right to me, but anyway, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to put a spin on it. You know, I'm trying to give a different perspective on it, man. But uh, yeah, it's whatever, man. It's, it's whatever. Uh, Fifty Cent can do what he want. Uh, I mean, he can say one thing, like I say, he can say one thing publicly, and then when he go vote, he probably vote, you know, Trump, or he probably don't even vote for all we know. So I don't think anybody should get bent out of shape about it. But what Chelsea Handler said, um, yeah, man, I think she got a lot of people upset, man. That's very disrespectful. I had to remind him that he was a black person. I had to remind him that he was a black person and that he has to return to the plantation and uh, vote for the... um, I guess his his masters, whoever it be. But let me know what y'all think. I'll catch y'all later. All right, bye.